This is a rare high-level meeting between North and South Korea. North Korea typically sends over a delegation of older Korean officials, but this time they had a surprise. One of the country's most prominent pop singers. It raised a lot of questions immediately about why North Korea would even send a pop singer. Who was she, and what was this supposed to mean? Young Sung Wol is probably the most prominent pop star in North Korea. She typically sings propaganda songs that celebrate North Korea's Kim Dynasty, its missile launches, and its nuclear tests. That's not exactly the type of material that would please South Korea. So the delegates from Seoul were quite surprised to learn that she was going to be coming to this inter-Korean talks. <laughs> The woman is surrounded with mystery and we don't know much about her. We do know that she plays in the Moran Bong Band, which is a girl group formed by Kim Jong-un after he took power a little more than five years ago. And beyond that, there are a lot of rumors about who Hyun Sung-wal is. There were rumors that she was executed in 2013. There was also a rumor that she was romantically linked with Kim Jong-un. But that one definitely doesn't seem to be true. It's hard to believe that uh, if they had broken up romantically, that Kim would have placed Hyun in such a prominent position. Is Hyun sung -wal important politically? It's hard to say, but uh, it certainly does reflect that for Kim Jong-un, there's a real priority on using music to present a good side of North Korea. Kim Jong-un appears to want to send a message that North Korea is not a backwards country that is starving and brutal. It's actually a cultural country that is talented and interesting and attractive.